Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today's video is going to be the Ipsy versus Birchbox unboxing for May. Um, we'll go ahead and just get right into it. We'll start with Ipsy first. So, I know I say it every video, but just for anybody that's new, um, Ipsy and Birchbox, what they are, they are beauty subscription services. So for $10, you get between like four and five sample, deluxe size sample um, products to try out. And um, yeah, so I'll leave that information down below if you're interested in checking out either one. But we will go ahead and start with Ipsy. Ipsy usually comes in like this, uh, this like glossy type of an envelope. And I did get a, I did get a sneak peek because I never open up the boxes until obviously on my camera. But um, I did get a little sneak peek because of some other people that have been posting what they got on Instagram. So I got a sneak peek of what the um, the bag looked like. So with Ips and it was so cute. So with Ipsy, every month you get like a themed bag. So this month, this is what the bag looks like. And it says contents, pretty important stuff. So I think that is adorable. And I love the Ipsy bags because obviously you can reuse them. So let's see. So I guess this month it says, hey Jet Setter, buckle up Buttercup. We'll bring the beauty essentials and you bring the flair. Celeb status or not, we're flying first class to fabulous and the sky's the limit. Jet lag is for amateurs. So this is just their little card that comes, oops, that comes with it. Um, the one thing I will say, and I know I say it every single month, but um, the one thing I do really like about Birchbox versus Ipsy is that Birchbox gives you like a card that has like a description of all the items that you got in your box, as well as what the full re uh, the full size amount would be if you were to purchase it, and a description on how to use it and all that. So I really do like that Birchbox does that. I really wish Ipsy would, but. Alright, so let's get right in. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a Morning Dew Matte Finish Moisturizer by Emmy. Oh, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. That's that. It is 0.35 ounces. It says controls oiliness and shine, hydrates and softens. So that is good. It says skin friendly, natural extracts. Okay. So, I mean, that's good. I mean, it's just obviously a moisturizer. So, I have very oily skin. So, I will be interested in using that to see how it works. The next thing I'm pulling out is a gel eyeliner by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And this is in the color Ebony. And so, this is 0 0.06 ounces. So, I mean, this looks like it would, it would I guess, be a full size. Get it out. Yeah, this is basically your full size. So this is, again, I said in the color Ebony. So it is a, a sharpened eyeliner. Oh, it's very, very creamy and soft. So that is that. So I really like that. That's cool. I will definitely use that. The next thing I'm pulling out is... Oh, I've never tried anything from them before. Uh, this is a tapered blending brush, number 205 by Luxie. And that is cool because I've never tried any of their brushes. It's a very soft, soft, a soft um, brush. So that would be a good blending brush. So I'm excited to use that. Oh, very good. I like that. The next thing I pulled out is by Briogeo. It is the Rosar I'm sorry, Rosarco Milk. It is a reparative leave-in conditioning spray. It has rose hip, argan, and coconut oil. So I am excited about that. I like like you know any kind of like leave-in conditioners or anything like that. And this is a one ounce. 
And it says, this lightweight leave-in conditioning spray is fortified with a blend of rosehip, argan, and coconut oils. Powerful hibiscus leave antioxidants and vitamin E to provide moisture, strength, manageability, and softness while protecting against breakage, heat damage, and UV exposure. So I'm excited about using this. Like I said, I like any kind of a leave-in conditioner for my hair. Especially right now because I am going through my little process of going gray and stuff like that. So, I mean, my hair is, is the most probably dry or damaged or brittle that it has ever been. So, I'm excited about trying that out. And the, la ooh, the last thing I pull out is this Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Gloss. So, it comes with two lip glosses. And then, what is this? Ow. Oh my god, did I just break this? Oh. Oh, alright. So it comes with these two lip glosses right here. These two colors. Um, so it's called Fail Bait and Bittersweet. So Fail Bait and Bittersweet. And then it comes with, I guess, what is this? Like a pencil? This is a lip pencil. Alright. So this is a lip pencil. It's just clear. Okay, so it says with the Lip pencil, it applies invisibly, glides on smoothly, and grabs onto color to help it last. Use it to fill in fine lines, prevent feathering, and correct mistakes. And then the two long-lasting waterproof formula stays creamy. It never feels dry or cakey, and it has vitamin E, J jojoba, is it jojoba or jojoba? Jojoba oil and cottonseed oil nourishes lips. So that is cool. I'm not going to swatch those because they're, you know, once you open them up, it's annoying to close. But the colors look very, very pretty. So again, you have like a dark, I'd say rose and just like a really like an orchid purple color. So I am very happy with this box. Again, for $10, you get two samples of a lip gloss with a basically like a lip primer. You get a blending brush. You get a full size, which I think is a full size, I'm sure it is, uh, of a gel liner. And you get a conditioning spray and a moisturizer. So, and the bag. So, this was a very good Ipsy bag. I really am very happy with this bag. So, let's see how Birchbox did. Okay, so Birchbox comes in a little cardboard box. So, this is the box for this month. And again, I love these boxes. It says, well, Birchbox plus cup cupcakes and cashmere. That's what it says on like the little logo for this month. But I do love the boxes because I do reuse them. Um, you know, you can reuse them for anything. So I really do enjoy that. And so here is the card. I don't try not to look on the back, but this is the front of the card. And that's the back. And this is where it tells you about all the products that you got, how much they are, yada, yada. Okay, so the box for this month, I guess, is with cupcakes and cashmere. Emily, I, I, don't, I don't know, but I guess she helped uh, curate this box. So it just gives like a little um, message from her. So there's a coupon in here for $12 for the year to purchase, I guess, what is this? Like a, the magazine from cashmere and Cos uh, ca cupcakes and cashmere. So that's that. I guess that's, that's the girl, Emily. All right, now to the box. All right, the first thing I'm pulling out is a antiperspirant wipe for women. It's by La Fresh Travel Light, and there's one wipe in here. And let's see, I gotta get my little card. <laughs> so, let's see. It's just an odor blocking wipe that you can obviously use just on the go. You sweep it onto your underarms for an instant refresh. It's perfect for day to night transitions. So for a full size of these, I guess it would be $249. So I don't know if it comes like in a little packet of so many, but the full size would be $249. So, um, yeah, I'm not really crazy about trying that out. So the next thing is by Coats Flawless Complexion. It is a tinted moisturizer probably. And let's see, this has an SPF of 50, and this is 0.18 ounces. 
And let's see, this says it's a lightweight cream with a sheer tint that evens tone, blocks UV, ra UV rays, and won't clog pores. And the full size of that would be $20. Um, yeah, eh, um, that's okay. I'm not really, again, too excited about that. The next item is by Parlor, Parlor by Jeff Chastain. Chastain. This is a one fluid ounce. It's a moisturizing sea salt spray. Huh. So that's what the bottle looks like. And it says, this celeb stylist new non-drying spray gives you soft beachy waves and smells amazing. So you just spray it onto damp or dry hair and style the fingers for a tasseled look. Oh, I'm not really crazy, but I mean, I mean, I'll use it, but it's not something I probably would really honestly would purchase, but oh, I'm sorry. They gave me two of these little wipes. So there's two of them. The next item, we'll call this item number four, is by Mally. It is an Evercolor automatic waterproof eyeliner in the color navy. This is a retractable pencil, so I do like that. Let's see the color. Yep. Just a navy color. And the full size of this would be $18. So I would use this. I mean, this is, this is, I like. This I would definitely use. And the last thing is by Real Chemistry. It's a luminous three minute peel. Oh, I like, I like peels. So this is the box. And let's see, the full size of this would be $48. And this is an acid-free peel, gently exfoliates for instantly softer, smoother, brighter skin. So you apply to clean face and massage to take off like the dull, dead skin, and then you rinse away. So I would definitely use this. I love, like I said, I love any kind of peels. I like face masks and stuff like that. Um, so if you don't know, you can't tell by now, the winner for this month is definitely Ipsy. Um, the only two things that I'm really excited about trying out of the birch box is the eyeliner and the, um, the face peel. The other three items like the hair, the sea salt spray for your hair, the, um, tinted like moisturizer and the two wipes. I'm not really excited about those, but these two I am. So for this month, it definitely the winner goes to Ipsy. So again, if you need any of the information below, if you want to go ahead and try it out for yourself, any of these boxes, you can, um, I'll leave the links down below. So that is it. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day guys. Bye. Mwah.